Years ago, science class meant dissecting frogs and memorizing the periodic table of elements. But a few things have changed since then. Now students at Brookside Middle School are taking science to another level. SNN Local News reporter Amber Stidham has more on this year's robotic team and the new robotics they're building. I controls the wheels, the wheels. Move around the arm, and then the top. They're working hard to dominate in the arena, but it may not be the one you're thinking of. 20 new engineering-minded students at Brookside Middle School are gearing up for another year of robotics classes and competitions. For the first time, 6th and 7th graders are taking part in the program. TSA advisor Joel Kaplan has already seen the dedication from his students who come into school early just to work on the robots. They have to do a complete engineering notebook which gives the, the design, the programming, and all the steps that they've done in bro, uh, brainstorming, problem solving, trial and error, and working with the robots. And this year the team faces a whole new competition called the toss-up. Throw different sized balls into, into scoring points, how to stack them in uh, tanks, and also how to have their robot uh, hang above the arena. Though the school year just began, students are already learning the basics of robotics and programming, like Lily Huber and Samantha Garofalo, who are installing the brain in this claw bot. It really controls the robot. Um, it, when we program when it, we, it remembers everything. We program it to move and pick up things with the claw. After last year's team took home third and fourth place in the 2013 national competition, these students have some big shoes or remote controls to fill. I expect the same from these guys and uh, they're all working at it very hard from day one. They want, they want to be here, they want to learn, and they want to compete. Reporting in Sarasota, I'm Amber Stidham, SNN Local News. The Brookside Vex Robotics team have their first regional competition in November.